hello everybody welcome to jk sir channel today's topic is a program is trying to send an email message on your behalf if this unexpected click deny or and verify your antivirus software is up to date so uh, let me uh, brief about this issue and uh, guys if you are seeing this video for the first time please do subscribe I'm going to share my experience and knowledge on this platform uh, for the awareness purpose towards the technology. Let's begin. So this is the issue uh, will happen when you are, your email address will be used as, as, uh, as a be off. Like uh, when, when any program or any application are applications are being used, your email address as a b off on your behalf like on your behalf using a third party applications when they are trying to send an email or send a report send a script on behalf of your email address they are trying to send an email with your email address so this is what the uh, exact uh, concern so while sending an email on your behalf on a third party application or any 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 applications we used to get this kind of message this is called a warning message or a, we can call it as a alert message so if you if you click allow then the email goes off so there is no issue with that but but you know uh, some of the people they don't want to uh, prompt this window they wanted to remove this they wanted to uh, uh, they want they don't want to uh, get this window so this alert message to be uh, removed or uh, to be removed or to be disabled or to be give any exceptional in that case uh, there is a options in the outlook client uh, using that we can do it so that is i'm going to show you in this uh, video open the outlook and then go to the file options trust center trust center settings and then uh, programmatic pro, uh, programmatic access <coughs> sorry so programmatic access security so use the following steps to determine when you want to be a one about suspicious activity when another program attempts to do following things programmatically so guys you know these are the three options but there you know uh, never warn me about suspicious activity not recommended so this ha this option to be set when they get uh, that alert that uh, alert when we s when we set this option as never warn me about suspicious activity then the alert will not get usually you know when you when you have this option like when you have this option the first option warn me about suspicious activity when my antivirus is inactive or up to date so when it is set as this first option then you will get that message so let's uh, close this and reopen the outlook and see options trust center trust center settings programmatic access security see you can see here so one me about suspicious activity when my antivirus so this was due to this option you will get that message while sending an email with the third party application on your behalf so with your email address any other third party application on your behalf they are trying to send a then they are they are send they are trying to send an email will get that message will get this message so in order to avoid this, in order to uh, remove this message, we'll have to take out this option from first option to never warn me about suspicious activity. But here, you know, guys, please listen carefully. So here, this these three options are grayed out. So how do we how do we uh, uh, check this never warn me about suspicious activity? So it is difficulty to uh, set this option as never warn because it is a grayed out so in order to achieve this scenario so there is a uh, there is a method called using a registry edit method and then i'm just showing you that 
Use that method and then you can set this option as never warn me about suspicious activity. When you set this never warn me about suspicious activity, that message will not get when you send an email on your behalf with any other third party application. Let's see. So this is a registry edit method guys. So let's begin to add this registry enter. This is a path. HK local machine software Microsoft Office click to run registry machine software Microsoft Office 16.0 Outlook security. So so what we can do is we can do it on a graphical mode but in this video I am just showing you using a command method that is the easiest method and then we can add that folder and then we can add this registry entry called dword value uh, dword value as 2. So when you set this as two, then the then the uh, then this uh, option will be set as never warn me about suspicious activity. So let's begin. Open command prompt as administrator. Okay. Uh, before that, let's go to the path and see whether you have that uh, registry entry or not. So let me go through that path and we'll show you. Let me adjust this according to you. Okay. Uh, local machine and uh, software Microsoft of Microsoft Microsoft Office. Click to run registry machine software Microsoft Office and 16.0 and outlook see if you if you could find out any security here you can add this d word value as set as two and then you can right click here and then you can do it but here we don't see any security folder okay for that we'll have to do it in a command method okay so let's do this copy this command i'll give you this command in the uh, description area uh, you can copy that and you can run it in the uh, command prompt okay I have copied here reg add and then this path and security hit enter operation completed successfully just close the registry entry okay and just you can see this security has been added okay security has been added according to this path and then we'll have to add a divert value right click new divert value 32 bit and remove the unnecessary spaces hit enter and set the value as 2 okay it is 2 now uh, now just close the outlook you can see here the first option has been set warn me about suspicious activity let's see now close close Try to open the outlook again. Go options, so options, trust center, trust center settings, programmatic access, and you can see guys. So never warn me about suspicious activity. You know. So when you said that never warn me, uh, never warn me about suspicious activity, you will not get this message anymore when you are sending an email on your behalf with the third party applications or third party any kind of SMTP tools any kind of scripting tools when they are using your email address on, on your behalf so you will not get this message anymore so guys uh, this is the procedure that you can uh, do it on the outlook client side when it is grayed out using a registry method and you can add it and then you can fix that issue at your end so hope you understood uh, this video about this concept and then uh, please do subscribe and please do share if you like it please do like it and then uh, watch for more videos and do subscribe and then please share to your friends thank you so much guys